With Autolytic Solutions, we can have this whole security alarm system up and running by using Autolytics Yodo 11 for detecting people. So we can actually use the models directly out of the box, the pre-trained models, and we can detect a person based on that. Let's say that we have a security camera, CCTV camera, could be a video stream, could be a live stream that you're running as well, could be in your garage, monitoring system at a construction site, in your office and so on, we just need to have our stream. Then we run the Autolytics YOLO 11 model on top of it, detect if there's a person present in the frame. If there is, we're basically just going to trigger an alarm. Once an alarm triggers, we can then send an email notification to a specific email. Then wherever you are, you just need to have a camera stream up and running and you will get alerts if there's any intruders or people that you don't want to have in a specific environment or room. So let's now just jump straight into it and see how we can create this security alarm system with the Autolytics solutions. So we just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If you go inside the solutions tab up here at the top, we can see we have all these different solutions over to the left, optic counting, optic cropping, blurring, work on monitoring and so on. We have videos covering all of them. If you go down into our security alarm system, this is all we need. First of all, we can read about a short description of what the system is, real-time detection with YOLO 11, where you just want to detect people. So we can use the pre-trained models directly out of the box from the Coco classes. The zero class is act like a person. Then we have the accuracy, really good accuracy in our YOLO 11 model as well, and very fast speed. If it's a little bit filled down, we already have a video. It's an older one on YOLO V8, where we act like see how we can set up the system, but it's now integrated into the Autolytic solutions. So you can just use it in a few lines of code. First of all, we need to set up an app password. If you're using Gmail or whatever, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you the steps in just a second, but then we can actually just go in, generate a password. We need to put it into our application because once we have a human, the whole pipeline is we detect, we have a live stream, could also be a video file or whatever. We detect, we have the Autolytics YOLO 11 model running on top of that stream. If we detect a human present in the frame, could have like a running average and so on. So it needs to be detected for a few frames or it could be like for 30 seconds or whatever. We can also run tracking on top of it, basically just to filter out double detections. We don't want to create duplicated alerts and all that. And also not just like spam our own email inbox with alerts. So these are some stuff that we can do as well and so on. But yeah, we're running the detections. If we detect a human, we're going to create an alert. Once an alert triggers, we're going to send an email. So it will basically just take the email. We can format that. It's going to log in to your Gmail or basically does just like what email you're setting up. Then it's going to just log in, send the email, and then you can specify which email it should send it to. So this is pretty straightforward. This is everything that we have to do. We just need to set up our email configurations, email settings, run two lines of code here and then we have this whole security alarm system up and running you can just specify the source that you want to have so this is pretty much the code that we need so first of all here let's just go and open up this app password generator then we get inside our app password we can just call it app name so let's call it ultra lytics test and we can create it now we'll get our password here then you can just copy that password throw it directly into our application, and then it's gonna use that once it triggers an alert. Then we can go inside the code again. I'm just going to copy paste this whole code snippet. You can also just clip it, uh, copy it here to our clipboard. Now I've opened up my code editor. I'm just going to paste it in. Then we have a video file here. Right now, instead of a video file, I'm just going to use the webcam. So we're going to use the syrup index. Then it's going to open up our webcam and then it's basically just going to run the detections on that and send an email notification. So display the output, we want to set that equal to true. We want to just run with the Nano Yolo 11 model and also record the total detection count to send an email about security. Could be that you want to like detect 10 people if there's more than 10 people in a room, 15 people or whatever, then it's gonna send a, an alarm as well. We need to authenticate it and then we just have our video stream that keeps loading in frames from our file or source and so on could be a video file you can just specify it directly here or an rtps stream then we just throw through our monitoring it's going to automatically trigger this alarm system so right now from email i'm just going to put in my emails uh um, emails uh, settings my password and also the email that we want to send it to then we can just open up our terminal so i'll just do that right now i'll activate my conda environment and then we can just run this Python script here 
after alarm.py just throw in my settings here and then we can run it and it will send email notifications so now I put in the settings up here at the top I'm just going to run this alarm system it will download automatically everything and so on and it's also going to open up my webcam so right now it should open the webcam here in the front and we can see that it starts process it so right now here we can see that we're detecting a person so now we can see I actually just got an email here on my phone it's going to send an image and also an alert so autolytics alert for objects has been detected so we can also go in and filter it based on like persons different types of objects you can also train your own models so if you train your own models you can just directly swap out the path when you're specifying the YOLO 11 model we have videos covering the whole pipeline how you can go from like a data set train your own custom model and so on so this is basically just running on CPU 15 milliseconds infant times it's pretty much real time on my MacBook Pro GPU and we're getting alerts here on our phone it's not really spamming me so that's good this year worked directly out of the box I'll probably set it up like in a few minutes definitely going to check it out like this is a very cool application like small project just for learning purposes and so on as well because it combines a lot of different elements in a computer vision pipeline you could build like a ui interface and so on around it that will also be pretty cool so thanks a lot for watching this video here i really hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos for more projects solutions models and everything until then happy learning